Yeah, I got to give these guys props, man. You know, they did a great marketing strategy, a surprise album during the middle of summer on a Saturday. And this album dropped out of nowhere, you know, and, and it made me forget about the Nas album. It, it did because I was going to bump that, you know, all weekend. And this completely made me forget about Nas's album. So this was this was a blitz marketing um, done by Beyonce and Jay-Z to do this. And I've been bumping this all weekend. Everything is Love is a pretty it's a really good album, actually. It's a really good album. Um and um, it just has a it has a really good feeling about black love. The album the album title is Everything Is Love. They even shared their issues during their marriage, where uh, you know Beyonce admits that they broke up and had to remarry due to infidelity issues and things of that nature. You you know when you're married, you're gonna go through ups and downs. You're gonna go through trials and tribulations. It's how you come out of that situation and prevail and people who are not married are not going to relate to that so you know um i i think this is a pretty good album man um it's going to take some time for me to say it's gonna it's um one of the best albums of the year i gotta keep listening to it but i've been listening to it you know all weekend and it's, it's a really solid album um the feel of it has that summer vibe that's why number one the track that you start off with is summer as that real feel good summer soulful vibe it has some trap beats on there um it has some classic beats on there you know me i'm a producer you know that's that's what i that's what i do so i like looking at producer credits and stuff like that production was handled by uh a lot of production was handled by cool and dre much props to them they're they're miami natives um so it seems like this was this album was mostly recorded in Miami. But yeah, Cool and Dre did their thing on on some tracks here. They did uh, quite a few tracks on here, like Summer. That has a real soulful old school vibe, you know. Track is really good. Um, one of my favorite tracks, and this is before I even knew this was the actual single when I was playing it. Like when I, I told y'all when I was playing it for the first time, I kept playing the first four tracks over and over again. So I was like, first four tracks is bananas. You know, track two, ape shit, man, that that goes hard. Pharrell Pharrell blacked out on this beat, man. The beat it, it, it takes you to a zone. It, it it's a really great track. The additional vocals by Offset and Quavo. The ad libbing they did. It, 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 it it's it's great they basically their vote their vocals are instruments so they use their vocals on the track as instruments to layer the track so if you understand anything about ad libbing and and pharrell is a visionary so i, I know Ver, pharrell most likely titled the song ape shit made the beat exclusively for beyonce and jay-z um was like i i see offsetting quavo adding additional vocals to the track as instrumentation that's all pharrell that's all pharrell so i know he did all that but this is a great track man i, I love this track and i was bumping this track like non-stop before i even knew it was a, it was a lead single i didn't even know it was a elite single until later on that same night when i knew about the uh, album drop saturday you know what i'm saying boss dope track as well um this track right here Jay-Z goes in. He talks about being a boss and actually owning everything that you do in terms of, you know, your businesses, things of that nature. He throws shots at Drake. <laughs> Drake is 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 in the, man, Drake is in, in for a long hot summer. Long hot summer. Matter of fact, let me look up the lyrics real quick so I can show y'all. Um Jay-Z, Beyonce, Boss, Genius. All right, so <clears throat> so here's the part right here, right, where they talk about where Jay Z talks about being a boss and, and specifically goes after Drake. So here's the verse: um, hundred million crib, three million watch, all facts, no cap, false nigga. You not a boss. You got a boss. Niggas getting jerked. 
That shit hurts. I take it personally. Niggas by the work for the man. I hate this dumbass ad shit, man. Alright. Well, where was I at? Okay, niggas by the work for the man to then work with me just so they can pretend they on my level. That shit is irking me. Pride always go with before they fail, almost certainly. It's disturbing what I gross. Survey says you're not even close. Everybody's bosses till it's time to pay for the office. To them invoices separate the men from the boys over here. We measure success by how many people successful next to you. Here we say you broke if everybody got broke except for you. So throwing some jabs at Drake. And um, like I said, Drake's in a, in, a, in a for a long, hot summer. His album is still slated to release later this uh, end of June. And um, he already is on. He's back on social media now promoting his album. Did a video uh, for I Am Upset. I saw the video. The video made no damn sense to me. He did a video about Degrassi. Excuse me. He did a video about Degrassi and um, a high school reunion. And the video is called I'm The song is called I'm Upset. So it made no damn sense. I don't understand that video. But yeah, Drake's in it for a long, hot summer, man. You got Jay <laughs> going after you now. Pusha already buried you. And it's, it's, it's crazy. Jake, you know, you got other people coming out and, and trying to save you, protect you because that, that, you know, you're you're their investment. So, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, nice. The next track, Nice, is a dope track as well. Um, that freaking hook, man, is very infectious. This one, another another track produced by Pharrell. And um, that that hook. <laughs> That hug, I can do anything. Hell no, nah. that that chick, that 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 drug is infectious. It's really is a melodic hook, very very infectious. Um, the beat is crazy. I like the track a lot. It has a, has that, it it has that southern you know trap feel to it. It it really does. Um, seven one three, another dope track as well. This one, um. They, he pays homage. They pay homage to a lot of classic hip hop tracks. Um, on this song, I like how they, I like how they fuse in, you know, some hooks, some other songs, and put it into this track. And it just repping, you know, your hometown, your home team. You know, I like that a lot. Friends, I like this track too. Uh, it's very introspective. Jay breaks down friendship and how you know great that is and he talks about um his children and how one of his children one of his friends I think I think it's Tata I believe you know Tata's like a long time friend I've been with him since the, since the Rockefeller days probably before that but I know Tata is that short dude that short ball headed dude I know who that, I know who that is that's always around Jay and he talked about, you know, if, if he passes, he'll, uh, you know, he'll have his, he'll have Tata take care of his kids for him or some to that effect. You know what I mean? Um, heard about us. This track is, uh, this track has to grow on me. I was surprised to see a producer credit by Elmine. Elmine is a really dope. Well, when I knew about him, he was an underground producer, producer for a lot of, you know, true lyricists. You know what I mean? Not, 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 you know, in today's standard, but like some real lyricists back in the early 2000s or not, or the mid 2000s or whatever. It's how I discovered, uh, you know, mine. And I see a production credit from, um, one of Drake's producers right here. Um, but this this track has to grow on me. Heard about us? I only heard the track like one time, so I gotta really let, let that sink in. Uh, Black Effect. <clears throat> yeah, Black Effect. I like Black Effect a lot. This is a dope track. <clears throat> um, this is a really dope track actually. This is one of my favorites as well. Another track produced by Cool and Dre. 
You know what I'm saying? And um, this is a this is a I like this track a lot. And um, the last track, "Love Happy." This track right here, <laughs> another another uh, introspective track. Uh, where they both talk about their marriage and their relationships and the trials and tribulations of it and how you know they had to they had to break up and remarry and stuff like that and show the power of love and that's why the album title is called Everything Is Love. Um, so this is you know this is a very solid album. Off you know off the very you know, off the few listens I've heard throughout the weekend. I give this I give this album a four out of five. Uh, a four out of five for sure. Um, would I put it up there as one of the top albums of the year? It, it, it's gonna kind of take more time for me to listen to it some more. For me, my albums of the year so far is uh, um, Pusha T Daytona. Actually, let me go back to my uh, my list. Hold on. Pusha T Daytona, J. Cole, KOD, and who else I got? Pusha T Daytona, um, KOD by J. Cole. I think that's it so far. I only got two. I haven't heard it now. I will I will listen to the Nas album. Matter of fact, I'm listening to it today. I'm gonna keep playing that. And um but yeah, it's gonna take some more time. But I, I, it's a solid album. Jay and Beyonce had a solid album. I already bought their their concert. They're performing in um, Hard Rock Stadium in August, so uh, I'm gonna be seeing them live. Jay and Beyonce at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. You already know what it is. So looking forward to that. But yeah, fam, those are my thoughts about the album. If you heard it, let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave your comments down below. If not, uh, let me know um, who you're listening to right now. You know what I'm saying? Are you listening to any of these albums I have in my title list? Do you know anything about anything, any of these albums that I got? Let me know in your comments section below, family. Make sure you follow me on social media at GMOG Media TV. All links are down below in the description. Until next time, family. Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out.